from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Tweed. Here are some of our top stories. State police are trying to figure out what led up to a deadly crash along I-91 North. It happened near exit 24 in Rocky Hill. Police say a driver veered into the right shoulder and hit a guardrail and then was thrown from the car. Police identified the driver as 44-year-old Marcos Benitez Renifo. He was pronounced dead at the scene. After the crash, police say a second car hit the disabled one, and that driver, though, was not hurt. State police are asking anyone who saw what happened to give them a call. Four people are dead after a fiery head-on crash in Waterbury. Police say two cars were speeding on Thompson Avenue when one crossed into the opposite lane and slammed into another. Both cars burst into flames and everyone involved was pronounced dead at the scene. Their identities, though, have not been released. The investigation is ongoing. All right, we watched for some showers that were rolling through on Saturday evening, but things are clearing up, which is good news. We've got some heat and some humidity that will be coming back into the forecast for your Sunday. It looks to be dry, which is nice, but expect the afternoon high temperatures to be between around 85 and 90 degrees. We will head into this coming week with some changes happening. For Monday, temperatures gradually cooling off a little bit. We're talking about 80 to 85 for the afternoon. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, a bit on the unsettled side, especially Wednesday, where we have issued a first alert weather day for showers and storms. We're going to keep a very, very close eye on those. Have a great night.